Back you, baby. This is probably a yes question, but like, how do you keep yourself from being too jaded? Because now you and Esso have been behind the scenes for so long. Y'all see shit, you know this is fake or this is bullshit or this is scheduled for marketing. Just like um, when I saw the Nas and 21 Savage song together, mm -hmm. first thing I said was, being around y'all, was this a marketing plan all along? For them to do that in the, yes. the first place. Well, yes. it, it, you you know where it could be because now, it, it, you know, him saying that, it, it got, like, super big. Mm -hmm. But, you know, gearing off to something else, I think that um, I was thinking about this last night, and I'm like, maybe, um, and, and maybe I'm wording it wrong, but being in the music business might be it, but being in the business of music might be it. So when I say that, mm. I DJ in clubs, and last night, about 40 guys, yo, I'm going to airdrop you my song, I'm going to airdrop you my song, and I'm like... Damn, maybe maybe I I might you know be not signing the artist, but maybe doing like some marketing or something like that. Cause I know they got the new thing with the guy with a microphone dropping and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, kid, they making money, like you know, cause yeah. I have artists and that's what they want to do. Yeah. And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong I've with it. My you. artists, you know, my art, they, they just want to rap. Y'all want to do that? And I'm like, well, why didn't you just rap on my platform? I have way more followers than them, but they want to be on. That they want platform. the theatrical. Yeah, yeah. So the I'm look. Like, they need I'm the like, theatric. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you understand? Yeah. You have more views than me. Mm. People leave that shit on in barbershops. Like, that's, that's the market. That's a market. That's a that Like, people don't listen to music that way. Uh huh. Shit on the TV mm. and they leave it there. That's and that's it. Yes. And they, the stream numbers is running up. And, that, and, that, and that's oh. what I've been trying to explain. Yeah. It's what oh, I've been so that's what I'm like, because in my mom, like, I, you know, I have I have a new artist, and and, and, and is you know I, I want to shout her out to her name is Marty Pretty. She's from uh, Willenburg, New Jersey. It's like closer to Philadelphia area, like yeah, Southern Jersey. Yeah. And you know it it was you know I was like well, she said I want to do I think it's called block work, yeah, right, I'm familiar and, with something that. right. So and and she was like yeah I want to do block work. And I was like you know I got way more followers than them. Well, let's do something different. You know it's it, it's just a mic here, and, it's not, and I'm not downplaying what they're doing. I guess they're doing great marketing. I just wasn't familiar. It's the you it's know the, it's the but, theatrics and the visual behind yeah, I'm it. Like, seeing well, the traffic. You know move. I'm gonna <laughs> drop a bomb on you. It's the content. I'm gonna drop a bomb on you. This what you're saying is what I'll be trying to share with them. Okay. About how radio people we're on different sides of the business and we don't know every. Drop it there, but niggas ain't going to you for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's understood. Where you go to. And that, in and their mind, they think that is what's going to lead them to you. Yes. Okay. This yeah. is what I. This is what I've been trying to explain. <laughs> that's the preliminary to yeah. get to you. Got so you. now, once they do all, all of these things, then when they come with the record, now it makes sense for you mm -hmm. to be playing the girl and everything because she's going to gain the popularity from the twenty one from the twenty one year olds that we want to stay tapped in with. Understood. This is where they're going to get the popularity from to connect back to you to Understood. make sense. Okay. Th yeah. This is what I've been trying to share with the labels. Yeah, the labels. Mm -hmm. I've been trying. They're not hearing it. They don't get it. And I'll and I be trying to explain it to them. I'll be like, yo, and, and they're not getting it for a reason. Mm -hmm. Because self is a whole nother commodity that's making money and doing this over here. And this is what's been the wave the whole time. Mm -hmm. Now they got this undercurrent new wave that niggas is like, I don't necessarily, I don't get it because I, I got way more followers than them. But they're on YouTube, a whole place that you're not. Got getting you. wild hits. Wild mm. bread. Wild going dumb Yo. to the point that when you're playing it, they like, what the fuck took you so long? So don't you know okay. that they got fucking 80 million hits online? <laughs> but you know why <laughs> it's not gonna hinder self versus those label dudes? What he said like 20 minutes ago. He listens to the young dudes. He listened to Gabe. That's how Gabe's joint blew up with the on the radar freestyle. Mm -hmm. He got all the young niggas. They kept bodying it. Then out of nowhere, Drake is like, I watch these freestyles. In their mind, that's the prelim. They might not feel, they might be nervous to be around the legend DJ well, Self. I, I on mean, Power I 100% get that. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of artists, y'all ain't ready or whatever. Yeah, see, you know, I'm yeah, like, exactly. I'm Thank like, you. yo, just rap. But, you know, nah. <laughs> you're they, like the end all be all. And when yeah. you put that new girl on radio, that's it's it. like what Bridget she can't said. Go down. She skipped a she skipped the thing. Bridget was like that that hurt her with Jay-Z. She skipped a lot of platforms and a whole lot of levels. Mm -hmm. Now they expecting stuff from her because now this girl is on the radio and self is spending her every fucking night. And self is mm -hmm. on TV. 
Yeah, so yeah. what up? So it's so, like like you skip the line. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And bitch, you better be coming yeah, with some uh-huh. crazy <laughs> shit now. Uh-huh. Because if you would have been doing this rapping shit with the mic, we giving you mad time to uh, shine. Got yeah. you, understood. Exactly, okay. exactly. Right. Well, shout out to the to, to Blockwork. <laughs> Blockwork, yeah. yeah. Shout out to Blockwork. Salute uh-huh. to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We might Salute. host a couple of y'all freestyles, yo. Yeah. So it's a lot of people that tune in here and they and they don't know nothing about business. And we try to tell them about what's going on. They mm-hmm. don't know. And they and they want to know. They want to know. What do your venue, your man, your your booking contracts and shit look like? You so I have me. a um, I I have a I have two two managements, um, Geo Don and uh, Money Ma. So um, they primarily um, like handle those those ends. Um, I am I put input in it, mm-hmm. but um, they more knowledgeable of that. But um, me as a DJ, mm-hmm. um, it's it's pretty much a simple contract um because of me being a DJ it's just you know having the rider of um of the equipment that's there um the time schedule you know this time to that time you know um I'm pretty cool with flexibility you know yo you, t- you told me be here at 11 but the crowd really got here at 12:30 I'm fine with you know staying a little longer most people not cool with that so mm-hmm. if it's a cool yeah, DJ yeah I'm cool with that yeah I'm 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 cool with that you know uh, unless I had another Booking. venue to be but yeah. most of the time if I'm going somewhere I'm in that city anyway or whatever um I just think the more importantly um in the climate that we in I think you should try to gear toward more of an all in price meaning um when you do all in um, they just pay you the, the money, the, the full money. If your your rate is a hundred dollars, you know, just you know, instead of them booking your hotel flights and all that stuff, you just put it all in. Reason being, Paul, because um, sometimes you don't want people to have the knowledge of where you're staying or lodging or, or things like that. And it might not be that person who booked you. Sometimes people just talk a lot, and they may be talking mm. extra to a person that didn't really need to hear it. Mm-hmm. You understand? Oh, you know, I booked self and he's staying at the Marjorie mm-hmm. You know, oh, you know, yeah, I booked his room. He in the penthouse. You know, and you telling a girl that might have, you know, Ray Ray, you know what I'm saying, that does, you know. Jooks. Yeah, yeah, that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Ray Ray Jooks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you're talking yeah. Jooks. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, so it's always good to just have your own, you know, do your own, or what you're going to, and, and find a booking agent, um, you know, or work with a um, a travel agent. I apologize. Travel agent. A travel agent that, um, that, you know, that works with you because the travel agent to handle all that stuff for you mm-hmm. and give you all the information and that travel agent is the only person they that know. knows your information you know I so like I, I think that that might be a good business jewel you know as Definitely. opposed to breaking now, it down with different stuff like especially that especially if you fly to Atlanta where that's Jook's capital mm-hmm. you know what I mean oh, what? what you do with the money though like how do they give you half, half up front then they well, pay I you mean, half it's up all, there and all the negotiation you know now uh, Finesse Two Time have the big the big song called Back In you know Back In is is the, the money mm. that you get when you arrive to the city because you also have an agreement with that with that person. So you also want to be fair. So when I say fair, you don't want to just take all their money, take all their money, and then not, you know, give them some comfortability also. Mm-hmm. So you get a deposit, you know, and, and with that deposit, you can use, you know, toward um, your traveling and yeah. different things like mm-hmm. that, your appearance, mm-hmm. um, and, um, and your per diem. Meaning your food and different things. If you into drugs or whatever, you know you, you, you put you, all that in the price. Yeah, you, <laughs> you know <laughs> you put like all that, that in the then, price. Then you know what what would be great is you know upon upon landing or upon right before the show, you know getting your back end, mm-hmm. you know that would you know have your manager meet up with the promoter and get it. So you know you don't have to worry about nothing in the venue because sometimes things may go sour, you know. So try to get that you know upon landing or prior you I know, get a, hour so. I get a one hour prior to yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know, me showing up you know, to or the cool show. getting on yes. give me half, half the yeah, money give me, so, give me the, so the back end good. you know mm-hmm. get the back end um, you know at that time so you know you don't have no issues you know um, and you know as if you the performer try to go above and beyond because also it's not all about you it's also about the promoter the promoter has to be happy you're in a business you know and and y'all both in any business both parties should be happy mm-hmm. so when i say that meaning you know um i know there's some artists or some some even DJs or you know they charge ridiculous amount of, of price and they're not forgetting that that promoter has to make money also you know to make it to make it worthwhile mm-hmm. yeah also 
you know, promoters and, and, and other people, they talk or they look at things. So if somebody, what we call lose their shirt, if I booked you and, and you know, I booked you for 10 bands and you only generated two, I lost my shirt. shirt. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to, I'm not going to book, uh, you know, the, the next person in the next town, they're going to book you, be an idiot. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Or did they cost 10 bands? Nah, I'm straight. I ain't losing my shirt. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so just try to, you know, try to be, be mindful of, of where you at and, and the, the climate, you know, don't, um, and, and to me, you know, if you, it's somewhere where you're unknown, it's cool to take a little loss or a short or whatever, because you're gaining fans, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And, you know, eventually that person, you know, they, they, you know, that town may, may love you a little bit more. And now you got new fans in there. You may could get a booking uh, another day. You may make up that money another day. Definitely. You know, some people just looking at today, 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 you may make that money another day. 